un cul vert is a conventional of relatively short length designed to pass water through an embankment. From a hydraulic engineering perspective, a dominant feature is whether the culvert run full or not. The hydraulic design is basically the selection of an optimum compromise between discharge capacity, afflux, and total costs. As part of the first part of the design, the function of the culvert must be chosen and the design flow condition must be selected. Then, the culvert size must be selected for the flood capacity, taking into account a number of constraints. The cost must be minimum, the afflux must be small, the embankment height may be given or may be part of the design, scar protection must be considered, consideration for the passage of fish on aquatic life may also be relevant. A wide range of flow pattern may occur, as illustrated with a few examples. On the left, free surface inlet condition, and on the right, submerged flow condition. There are only a few examples. The basic design process takes place in two stages. First, a system analysis must be carried out to determine the objective of the culvert, design data and constraint. Second, the barrel size is selected by a trust and trial procedure. Both inlet control and outlet control calculations are performed for the design discharge. The optimum size is the smallest barrel size allowing for inlet control operation at design discharge for the maximum acceptable afflux. Inlet control means that the barrel flow are hydraulically controlled from upstream. Basically, critical flow conditions take place in the culvert barrel. Outlet control implies that the barrel flow conditions are controlled by the tail water condition. Pipe culverts are common culvert structures, especially for internal dimension less than one meter. In a free surface flow, in a circular pipe, such as a pipe barrel culverts, the free surface width, cross section area, weighted perimeter are function of the filling ratio. With this graph, Illustrating the variation with the filling ratio of the free surface width B, weighted perimeter PW, cross section area A, on hydraulic diameter DH. The optimum design of a standard pipe culvert follows the same steps as for a standard box culvert. The calculations are iterative. We choose the barrel dimensions, assume an inlet control operation then assume an outlet control operation, compare the inlet control and outlet control results. For inlet control conditions, the upstream flow condition may be use, estimated using a nomograph. This nomograph was slightly modified from the Concrete Pipe Association of Australasia with permission. And the definition are shown in the following sketch. The nomograph may be applied to a single cell culvert as well as multi-cell pipe culverts. For outlet control conditions, the upstream flow condition may be estimated using another nomograph. On this sketch, illustrate an outlet control operation. The calculation alternative, as shown in this flow chart, the optimal size is the smallest barrel size allowing for inlet control operation. Allowance for a freeboard of about 20% is strongly recommended. The current hydraulic design of a standard culvert is an optimization process for design flow conditions. In practice, the design engineers have a responsibility to ensure that the culvert operates safely for a broad range of flow conditions. The hydraulic design of culvert is a seminal application of the basic principle of fluid mechanics on hydraulic engineering. They are discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same playlist. Finally, the design of a culvert that is intended to be constructed would require the certification of a professional civil engineer.